This is the first day this Alberta spin class chain has been requiring mandatory vaccinations. We do feel like we're ahead of the curve, although the writing was on the wall. We did feel like this was something that was going to come. He's right. With COVID cases surging, ICU and hospitalizations threatening to paralyze the province's health system, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney announced a vaccine passport. Program, a proof of vaccination program for participation in certain discretionary activities that have a higher risk of viral transmission. If they participate, that will exempt them from a long list of public health measures announced today. Vaccinated people must limit their gatherings to 10. Unvaccinated people are not permitted to gather at all. Restaurants and pubs move to outdoor service only. People will be required to work from home unless they need to be physically present. And strict capacity limits at faith services and retail. A far cry from the post-pandemic utopia Jason Kenney was predicting in June. But I believe we'll be open for good. We believed that we could prudently move away from addressing COVID as a pandemic and towards an endemic. It is now clear that we were wrong. And for that, I apologize. But Kenny remains politically vulnerable. We've had restrictions coming and going, mixed messages coming and going, defiance coming and going over the last year and a half. I, I don't see how he can recover. So Carolyn, clearly this is a healthcare system already at the brink. This is an emergency. What's being done to address that? Well, the projection, Adrian, is in 10 days, Alberta will have run out of ICU beds and have run out of the staff to care for ICU patients. So Alberta Health Services is reaching out to other provinces asking if they can send COVID patients from Alberta and put them into their ICUs. And they're also asking if specialized and skilled staff can come to Alberta just to take on part of this overwhelming load we're experiencing. All right. Thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn Dunn in Calgary tonight.